Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a voice messaging app using MIT App Inventor. So this, for this you just need to use your voice to type a message. So you don't need to type it using a keyboard and then the message will be sent. So let me show you how this works. So first you need to click on pick phone number and you need to select the contact. Now I have selected a contact and now I don't need to type a message like we do usually. You just need to use this voice message button and you need to talk out the message. Hello, how are you? And now I'm going to again click on voice message and I'm going to tell send message. Send message. Now you can see that here I can just click here and then you can see that the message is sent. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. So first we are going to put the title for this app. So let's bring in a label and let me change the text of this label to be voice messaging. Now let's make the font of this to be bold and I'm going to increase the font size to be 30 like this. Next we are going to bring this to be at the middle of screen 1. So go to screen 1 and here you can see align horizontal. Change this to be center. Now you can see that the title came to the center of the screen. Next we are going to bring a label and we are going to use this label as spacing between the components. So let's just erase all the text from this and then we are going to put the height of this to be 3% because we need some space between the title and then the other things. Next let's go to layout and we are going to bring in an horizontal arrangement. Let's put the width of this arrangement to be fill parent like this so that it occupies the whole screen like you can see here. Next in the user interface we are going to bring in a label and let's change the text of this to be phone number. Now let's make the font of this to be bold and I'm going to put the font size to be 25 like this. And then now let's go to the horizontal arrangement and we are going to put both align horizontal and align vertical to be center. Next let's go to the social section and from here we are going to bring in the phone number picker component inside this horizontal arrangement. And let's change the text of this to be pick phone number. Now I'm going to put the background color of this to be orange. And let me increase. I'm going to put the font of this to be bold like this. Now using this button, using the phone number picker, they can pick the contact. So that this voice messaging app can send the message to the particular phone number or the can contact. Next we are going to go to user interface. And we are going to bring in a label. Let's change the text of this to be message. Let me make the font to be bold and the font size should be 25 like this. And here what we are going to do is let's go to here you can see text box. So in this text box we are going to type the, the message using the voice commands. So now let me just erase all the hints. And here you can see height and width. I'm going to put fill parent so that it occupies the whole screen like you can see here. Next let, we are going to bring in another button and let's put the text of this to be voice message. I am going to make the font to be bold and let's change the background color to be orange like this. Now you can see that th they can pick the phone number and then using this button they can choose, they can start typing, they can talk and the message will be typed automatically. So now let's go to here you can see in media we are going to bring in speech recognizer. So using this component we can found we can find what the user is speak. Next we need to bring in the texting component so that it can send a message through SMS. So let's go to social again and here you can see texting. We are going to bring in this component. Now let's go to the block section. So first when button 1 is clicked so let's bring in this block. So button 1 is this button the voice message button. When they click on this button, the speech uh, nicer needs to get the text from the user. So here let's go to speech uh, nicer one and we are going to get the text like this. And then after the speech uh, nicer gets the text, what we are going to do is whatever the user has spoken, I mean the spoken, we are going to put it in this text box, which is the message text box. So here let's 
let's go to text box 1 and here you can see set text box 1.2 and here we are going to get the result so the result is whatever the user is picking so that it will be visible in the text box 1 and they don't need to type it in the text box next when the user will click on after they type in the message they will click on the voice message and they will tell send message and then it needs to send the message using the texting component so for that we are going to use an if condition like this and here let's go to math block and we are going to bring in an equal to next we will get the result and we will see if it is equal to send message so here you can see the text block here I'm going to type send message so when the result which is whatever the user is picking equals send message what we need to do is let's go to the texting component and here you can see there is something called set texting one dot message two. So the message is going to be whatever they type in text box one, which is text box one dot text. So here you can see text box one dot text. Let's bring it here like this. And then what we need to do is we also need to tell for which phone number they need to send. So here you can see set text in one dot phone number two. For this, you can see that we have used a phone number picker. So here let's here if you scroll down a bit and you would be able to see phone number one dot phone number picker one dot phone number so let's put it here so that it can get the phone number now you can see that we have put the message and also the phone number now we need to send the message so here let's go to the texting and here you can see send message if you if you put send message direct then it will be sent directly and you don't need to click on any button now you can see that we have finished it but there is one more thing you need to do it because when we type send message what will happen is that will be typed in text box one which we don't want so here you can see in else we are going to put so let's click on this settings icon and here we are going to bring in else and in this we are going to put set text box one dot text to get result like this inside the else condition so here you can see the voice messaging app i'm going to pick the phone number first now i'm going to use the voice message button so that i can speak hello how are you now you can see that it is typed here and i'm going to send that message send message you can see that the message is here i just need to click on this button so that it will be sent now you can see that the message is sent. Next, do you want to create a voice shopping list which is also an AI app using MIT App Inventor? Watch this video and also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor here to create more mobile apps.